the day after the coup attempt, President Vladimir Putin called us, and in terms of cooperation, in terms of moral support, this was very significant for us. I thank my valuable friend Vladimir for his invitation and his hospitality, and I salute you, the members of the media, with love and respect. And there is an added aspect to all this. Turkey is America's main ally in the region. And Putin's visit comes at a time when Washington and Moscow's relations are at an all-time low. With more, here's RT's Ilya Petrenko. They say an enemy of my enemy is my friend. And everyone is anticipating his meeting with the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. And they're seeing each other for a third time in just two months, which goes to show that uh, Turkey-Russian relationships aren't just back on track. They're really leading towards close partnership. Of course, Putin and Erdogan will be talking politics, and that's why it's interesting how the Syrian issue is going to be brought up. In the meantime, Washington massively fell out with Russia over Syria, and Turkey's relations with the Americans aren't that promising this time around. Despite Washington constantly referring to Ankara as a top ally in the region, after the failed coup attempt in Turkey, President and Erdogan didn't mince his words in his anti-U.S. government rhetoric. Take a listen. One should be ashamed, ashamed. It's not up to you to make that decision. Who are you? Know your place. Our diplomatic relations with these countries will absolutely continue, but they have no place in our hearts. Hey, America. Oh, America, I told you many times, you are beside us or those terrorist organizations. You haven't had a good grasp of them, and that's why the region turned into a sea of blood. Of course, we'll be following all that throughout Monday. Well, that's our news stories for now, but coming up next, Sophie and Co. discusses the possibility of Northern Ireland leaving the UK and uniting with the Republic following the Brexit vote.